Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be playing Poppy Playtime. It's been getting a lot of a very popular into um, the YouTube. Because I'm going to scroll through YouTube, there's one, two, three, four, five people that, five different people that have played it and they're all getting recommended to me. So, apparently it's a really good game. Uh, chapter one, a tight squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co, you finally return to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. New game. All right. Now there's no puppet in this video. Mess with that now. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks better. All right. Security. All right. What are you? Oh, talk to. Okay. Hi, my name is Late Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory seeing this then you're trespassing <laughs> yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day so trespasser just to make you aware while we pride ourselves primarily on our high quality toys and excellent child care we also pride ourselves on our security for example this facility is full of hidden motion triggers which off, we'll turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities and that's one of the more aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. I don't like, no. What do you mean that's more of our tame version? By the way, if you didn't see uh, Mr. Office Playhouse. I am very afraid of dolls. Ooh. Eat healthy like brawn. Playtime Co. Cafeteria recommends a daily intake of 4,000 calories. <gasps> Damn. Alright, so here's the gift shop. Ooh, what are you? Buggy bot. <laughs> and what about this? Is there a way I can. Oh, yes. Candy cat. I want a candy cat. Stop blood. Oh. Hello, train. Huggy! Oh, there's no Huggy in there. What's Huggy look like? <gasps> Candy cat! Oh, I want him. Gimme. Oh, can I steal stuff from the cash register? Okay, well, since he said something about security up here, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to go to the security. What's that? Ooh, oh, that's blood. Ew. Anything color coordinated? Um, what's that blue thing? Wait, can I? Ooh. Is there something I can check over here? No? Alright. Um, maybe it has something to do with the. Right, no, it's colorful. Green, pink, yellow. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. I think. Green, pink, yellow, red. Green, pink, yellow, red. Uh, green, pink, yellow, red. Oh, yay. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, it's still hard. What are you? Take. Hey, grab pack. Trigger to fire, pull again to retract, and hold to grip onto objects. Okay. Only fire at small objects. Handless. Do not fire at co worker. Oh! What's the time? Play time! Oh. <laughs> I love this. I love grabbing onto things. Give me this computer. This computer's mine now. Hey, thanks. I'm going home with this computer. <laughs> Maybe it has some evidence on it. God damn it. Right, what else can we do? Is there something back here? Huh? Duh. What is it reading? This is a plastic hand, right? It doesn't have a hand for it. Uh, okay. No! What are you? No. Mm -mm. No. Welcome to playtime. <gasps> Huggy! Huggy Wuggy, 1984. Why would. Okay. Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than. More than that of Huggy Wuggy, our founder Elliot Ludwig aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. That's mm, no. As always, as is always true, Playtime Co. is Co.'s four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. With a bit of string and poly polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone to be Playtime's most popular and best-selling toy so far. What's this? What's this button? Wuggy. Oh, high five. High five. Huh, what can I pull? <laughs> I tried to pull its head off. Oh, yes. Thing to do. Ah. I feel like as soon as I turn around, he's gonna just freaking disappear or be staring at me. That's a key. I get it. I think I got it. Oh, you get another hand? Power. Stuff on my. Okay, still there. Remember, do be kind to others, show up on time, do not hide behind doors to scare life peers. Is that her? I don't know what that is. Don't stay up past 8 p.m., misuse company time, tamper with machinery, entering innovation w 
Innovation wing without authorization. I don't know what this is. This is game is very bright, dark. Hold on, puppet, cut this up. I need to see brightness. Yes. Yeah, we go much better. Hmm. Oof. Jesus! Grab to divert power. Oh. Okay. That's a really cool mechanic. I like that. That scared the heck out of me. Right, so now we have power. Oh, why are we not? No, no, I want to go home. No, where did he go? Oh, no. Where did he go? You seen that? D Ugh, no, mm, 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 nah. -uh. Can I have a hug? Stairway to hell. I'm not going. Hell no. Huggy says, remember to take breaks. Breaks longer than 10 minutes aren't prohibited. Prohib aren't prim I don't know. Oh my god. Why is there so much dolls? No. You can get the heck out of here. Stay away from me. Uh, okay. Uh, anywhere else? In here? No. Oh. Okay, that's two, one. No, I think that was all three. I keep on thinking I'm going to see him walking past there. Missing one, where is it? What was that? No, uh uh. You better get your freaking big huggy wuggy ass out. Nuh uh. No. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I thought I was going to fall through. Can I put something else, Jupiter? I want to put it down the hole. <gasps> I see that. Why is it? Oh, my God.
Right. No. Oh, that's loud. What's it doing? What's that? It's my other hand. Why, thank you. I have two hands now. I can... Wait a minute. Okay, one up there, one up there. Events. Oh, I'm not moving. Uh oh. Grab to complete circuit. Huh? Oh. Make a friend, 1960. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, ha was a visionary, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Playtime Co's greatest feats. Feats? No. Yeah, yeah, of all the amazing things he created, the Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely, 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 responsible for nearly every Playtime Co toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts and it will then paint, assemble and do quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or back breaking labor. This machine can do all of that. It can break my back? It can put me into labor? <laughs> okay. Nobody leaves without a toy, so I need to make a toy. Make a friend. Fostering happiness. Adopt an orphan today. Ooh. Mm. I want my hand back, please. Thank you very much. Oh, there we go. Ooh. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back to being a kid. I mean, and it's weird because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. Your body just gets older. I think older, we're getting a bit off track here. And then you die. Poof. <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things though. Like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than the We're in way off topic. The oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young when it's to something. Right? All right, I think we're getting a little off track. 
That's what I said. Right here. I think I know how to do it. Okay. So we go all the way across here. We grab onto you. We go here. And we go all the way over here. And we get it past you. Past you. I did it! Time to break my knees again. Ah! I freaking ankles. Ugh. Ah, Jesus. That was delayed and it scared my ears. What do I need to do? Oh! Okay. Now I gotta wait for my toy. No! Uh-uh! Cover your eyes! No! Don't! Uh, oh my god, I know what to do. He follows me, so if I... Haha, <laughs> no, he looks like a demon. <gasps> oh, I want him! Oh, I want one in real life. Gimme. Give Gimme give him. Oh, he's so cute. Let's get my toy. I want it. I'm going to play with him. This stupid machine took my toy. Motherfucker. Ah! <gasps> ah! Oh my god, look at you, Huggy. You're gorgeous. Oh my god, that scared me. Okay, okay, hi, how you doing? Ah, uh, uh, what to do, what to do, where to go, what? Ah! No! Jesus! Okay, 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 ah! Okay, 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 Oh, you can hear him. He's so close behind me. Uh, um. Down, 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 No, 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 Oh! Oh, gee! <laughs> he has blood? That would make him real. That means someone was in there. Um, but he has blood, yeah. So that means he's real. So, so that means he was legit alive, was like or a human inside. <gasps> there could have been a human inside of him. There's a bunch of messages saying, "Don't turn back." Uh, don't go this way, run. No, stop, go back, run. Stop, turn around, no, stop, danger, run. Oh, this is different. Hmm. 
uh, yeah. Chapter one, a tight squeeze. Ooh. Well then, I don't know if, um, I don't know if we're gonna have um, another part to this. It depends if this is good or if there even is another part. But so far, I've only been seeing the one with Huggy Wuggy in it. <laughs> um, yeah, so. That's, that's gonna be all for today, boys.